सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स शिक्षा शब्द कोश ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फर्स्ट एडिशन लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर एट स्कीम रिलेटेड पार्ट टू पेज नंबर नाइन्टी एट टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन परीक्षा पे चर्चा पी पी सी परीक्षा पे चर्चा और पी पी सी इज एन एनुअल इवेंट हेल्ड एवरी ईयर since 2018 during the event the honorable prime minister of india interacts with students teachers and parents from across the country and shares valuable tips on how to take board and entrance exams in a relaxed and stress free manner ppc is part of the larger movement exam warriors led by honorable prime minister shri narendra modi to create a stress free atmosphere for youngsters it is a movement that is driven by honorable prime minister shri narendra modi's efforts to bring together students parents teachers and the society to foster an environment where the unique individuality of each child is celebrated encouraged and allowed to express itself fully 230 pm poshan pradhan mantri poshan shakti nirman scheme earlier known as the national program of mid day meal in schools is one of the foremost rights based centrally sponsored schemes under the national food security act 2013 or NFSA the primary objective of the scheme is to improve the nutritional status of children studying in classes 1 to 8 in eligible schools this is a centrally sponsored scheme which covers all school children studying in classes 1 to 8 in government government aided schools available at https colon slash slash dsel dot education dot gov dot in slash pm hyphen portion hyphen scheme 231 rashtriya avishkar abhiyan raa in pursuance of the focus on connecting school based knowledge to life outside the school and making learning of science and mathematics a joyful and meaningful activity to bring focus on innovation and use of technology the ministry of education has set up the raa a convergent framework that aims at nurturing a spirit of inquiry and creativity love for science and mathematics and effective use of technology amongst children and encourage those who show an inclination and talent for these subjects to be encouraged and supported to heights of academic excellence and research link of document is available at https colon slash slash www dot education dot gov dot in slash en slash rashtriya hyphen avishkar hyphen abhiyan two hundred thirty two rashtriya madhyamik shiksha abhiyan rmsa rmsa was a flagship scheme of government of india launched in 2009 to enhance access to secondary education and improve its quality the scheme was merged under the integrated scheme of samagra shiksha in 2018 2019 reading campaign the union education ministry launched 100 days reading campaign padhe bharat on january 1 2022 the launch of 100 days reading campaign is in alignment 
with the National Education Policy NEP 2020 which emphasizes on promotion of joyful reading culture for children by ensuring availability of age-appropriate reading books for children in local, mother tongue or regional or tribal language. The aim of this campaign is to emphasize that reading is the foundation of learning which motivates students to read books independently, develops creativity, critical thinking, vocabulary and the ability to express both verbally and in writing. It helps children to relate to their surroundings and real-life situation. Link of the document is available at https colon slash slash www.education.gov.in slash sites slash upload underscore files slash mhrd slash files slash guidelines underscore on underscore reading underscore campaign dot pdf page number 99 234. Right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Act 2009 RTE RTE is an act of the Parliament of India enacted on 4th August 2009 which describes the modalities of the importance of free and compulsory education for children between 6 and and 14 in India under Article 21A of the Indian Constitution. The Act makes education a fundamental right of every child between the ages of 6 and 14 and specifies minimum norms in elementary schools. 235. Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan SSA SSA was the flagship program launched in 2001-2002 by the Government of India to achieve the universalization of elementary education UEE in a time-bound manner as mandated by the Constitution of India. The scheme was merged under the integrated scheme of Samagri Shiksha in 2018-19. 236. Samagri Shiksha An overarching program for the school education sector extending from preschool to class 12 has been prepared with the broader goal of improving school effectiveness measured in terms of equal opportunities for schooling and equitable learning outcomes. It subsumes the three erstwhile schemes of Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan or SSA, Rashtriya Madhyamik Shiksha Abhiyan or RMSA and Teacher Education or TE scheme has been continuing from 2018-19 and is extended up to 2025-26 with an outlay of over rupees 2.94 lakh crore. 237. Samajik Chetana Kendra As per Para 7.12 of NEP 2020, school to be a point of celebration and honour for the whole community. The dignity of the school as an institution to be restored and important dates such as the foundation day of the school will be celebrated along with the community and the list of important alumni may be displayed and honoured. Furthermore, the unutilised capacity of school infrastructure could be used to promote social, intellectual and volunteer activities for the community and to promote social cohesion during non-teaching or schooling hours and may be used as a Samajik Chetana Kendra. 238. Sarthak 
students and teachers holistic advancement through quality education. The Department of School Education and Literacy has developed an indicative and suggestive implementation plan for school education. This implementation plan delineates the roadmap and way forward for implementation of NEP 2020 for the next 10 years, which is very important for its smooth and effective implementation. States and UTs are given the flexibility to adapt this plan with local contextualization and also modify as per their needs and requirements. Available at https colon slash slash www.education.gov.in slash sites slash upload underscore files slash mhrd slash files slash upload underscore document slash sarthak underscore part one underscore updated dot pdf page number 100 239 school bag policy school bag policy 2020 covers all the students ranging from pre-primary classes to class 12 in all the schools as per the policy school shall offer two languages and mathematics in class 1 and 2 and two languages mathematics and environmental studies in class 3 4 and 5 school shall offer three languages mathematics science and social science in class 6 to 8 subjects such as computer studies moral education and general knowledge life skills etc need to be infused across subject areas and other activities in the school without additional textbooks. Health and physical education, work experience and sports and arts education are the areas which help in the all-round development of children. These need to be given adequate space in the timetable. Children should not be made to carry any textbook for these areas. HTTPS colon slash slash NCERT dot NIC dot in slash PDF slash final percentage 20 school percentage 20 bag percentage 20 policy percentage 20 20 20 dot PDF. 240. School Management Committee, SMC. The School Management Committee or SMC constituted under the Right to Education Act 2009 plays an important role in ensuring accountability in India's education system, especially in government schools. The Act envisions the SMC as a decentralized governance model which empowers them to keep track and monitor the functioning of the schools and oversee that the school grants are used effectively. SMCs consist of representatives of the local authority, parents or guardians of students and the principal and teachers at the school. Three-fourths of SMC members must be parents or guardians and half must be women. Two hundred. 41. School Health Ambassador Initiative The School Health Ambassador Initiative aims to foster growth, development and educational achievements of school-going children by promoting their health and well-being. It also aims to strengthen the concept of preventive, promotive and positive health which forms a fundamental part of the health and wellness centers of the Ayushman Bharat scheme. 242. Shagun Online Junction 
School Education Shagun is an initiative to improve the school education system. The initiative involves creating a junction for all portals and websites of the Department of School Education in the Government of India and all states and union territories or UTs. Through this platform, one can learn about the schemes and their comprehensive monitoring, go through how the outcomes are measured with the help of an objective evaluation process and appreciate the best practices in the schools all over the country. 243. Shikshak Parv Shikshak Parv is being celebrated by the Ministry of Education from 5th to 17th September to recognize the contributions of teachers and to take new education policy NEP 2020 a step forward. Page number 101 244. Social Audit Social Audit Guidelines have been developed by the Ministry of Education for checking, monitoring and verification of the implementation of the interventions of Samagri Shiksha would be facilitated by Social Audit. This audit is to be carried out by the community and the entire Gram Sabha with the help of stakeholders like the local authority, SMC members, SHGs, youth clubs, etc. The norms of Samagra Shiksha also emphasize careful monitoring of provisions of gender and inclusion. This audit will help in ensuring transparency and accountability at all levels. Link of document is available at https colon slash slash www.education.gov.in slash sites slash upload underscore files slash mhrd slash files slash guidelines underscore for underscore social for underscore audit underscore of underscore Samagra underscore Shiksha underscore scheme dot PDF 245 State Center for Literacy SCL There will be a State Center for Literacy or SCL at the state level housed in the SCERT. The broader mandate of SCL is to develop or customize e-teaching learning materials for learners for all five components, including state unique material as per requirement, that is, for tribal groups, to impart training of district trainers, etc. The SCL will consist of at least one or two faculty slash experts chosen from among the existing faculty to lead the cell. 246. Swachh Vidyalay Puraskar or SVP The Department of School Education and Literacy instituted the Swachh Vidyalay Puraskar or SVP in 2016-17 to recognize, inspire and celebrate excellence in sanitation and hygiene practice in schools. The purpose of the SVP is to honour schools that have undertaken significant steps towards fulfilling the mandate of the Swachh Vidyalay campaign. SVP is based on IT-enabled assessment of WASH infrastructure, hygienic practices and COVID-19 appropriate behaviour. Available at https colon slash slash swachh com Page number 102 247 Tithi Bhojan An initiative 
started with an aim to provide additional nutrition to children studying in schools. Under this program, community provides full meal or additional items on special occasions, birthdays, marriages, anniversaries, days of national importance and other festivals etc. 248. Vidya Daan A program aims to source high quality content in a controlled manner leading to diversity in content. This allows individuals and organizations to contribute e-learning resources that are used by students and teachers across the country. 20 plus center and state education organizations have leveraged this and 2 lakh plus rich and diverse digital learning contents have been contributed from 11k plus contributors. 249. Vidya Amrit Portal for Pedagogical Initiatives by Teachers Micro-improvements cater to the objective of making the improvement process easy, simple and achievable for every teacher and leader in the education system. The approach uses the learning by doing concept. Micro-improvements are enabled through digital projects and are available to leaders at all levels through the National Infrastructure for Education, Diksha. This is aligned to the learn, do, practice of NDEAR, building block 9 under the manage-learn scenario for administrator persona. Link of website https colon slash slash micro imp dot ndear dot gov dot in slash 250 yoga olympiad the national yoga olympiad is being organized jointly by the ministry of education and the national council of educational research and training ncert yoga has been integrated as an essential component of health and physical education the objectives of conducting yoga olympiad is to develop an understanding of yogic practices and apply this understanding accordingly in one's life and living to develop a healthy habit and lifestyle in children to develop humane values in children and to develop physical, emotional and mental health through yogic activities. This Olympiad has been conducted at block, district, state and national levels in all government and government-aided schools of India. Page number 104 Mentors Anita Karwal, Secretary, Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education. Vipin Kumar, Joint Secretary, Samagri Shiksha, Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education. Developed and compiled by Rashi Sharma, Director, Samagri Shiksha, Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education. Purabi Patnayak, Chief Consultant, Samagra Shiksha, Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education. For the second edition, please send in your suggestions on this email id purabi.ministryofeducation at gmail.com That is p-u-r-a-b-i dot m-i-n-i-s-t-r-y o f E D U C A T I O N at gmail.com. You were just listening to this audio. Chapter 8 Scheme Related Part 2 Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh, Technical Coordinator Bati Langlingdo, Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar, 
नेरेटर बावला कोचर गाइडेंस अजीत होरो वंदना अरिमर्दन प्रोडक्शन असिस्टेंट रुचि शर्मा डायरेक्टर एंड प्रोड्यूसर विमलेश चौधरी दिस प्रोग्राम इज प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाय सी आई ई टी एंड सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया